I think this is the earliest I've actually woken up and like fallen asleep. What's up guys? I'm Dom. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're in my bed. I'm so tired. I can't even lie. Our plans today is work and calling that gym because we got to schedule a tour for the gym that we're going to be going to. It's not like a crazy gym. You just have to schedule a tour regardless to even go. So, yeah. But before that, let's brush our teeth. I think we need to take a shower. And then, um... Hmm. Let's go find out what to do. I want to open my blinds. It's pretty. I feel like I... Like, really did just wake up. Beautiful. It's so pretty outside. It's not pretty at all. It's literally snowing. And it's like 16 degrees. But that's why we take showers. Because they keep us warm. The hair doesn't look that bad. It's just like... I feel like I need some ideas about how to keep my hair... You know from getting greasy because my biggest issue is my hair always being greasy because i don't really put product in my hair like ever actually one of you guys in my comments asked if uh how do i do my hair i literally do nothing with it i never do i have this product it's like a it's a hair like pudding but it doesn't really do anything it, it pretty much makes my hair smooth doesn't really make it like hard or anything so i will say uh i wash my hair every three days but i take showers every day so that means i rinse my hair with water basically all i do is like let's say my hair is wet i'll just like have it scrunched up like i'll scrunch it together right like just push it all together and then like i'll just damp my hair dry basically and then i'll just let it like let it dry up naturally. Cause if you if you do this, it's just gonna go straight and then flat down. At least that's what my hair does. So yeah, that's that's my that's my hair routine. Oh yeah. Thanks for whoever commented that. It really does mean a lot. I love my hair. What's up, guys? I'm out of the shower. I'm all dressed too. Got my shorts on, and it's still snowing outside. Cause I don't care. It's cause I'm inside and it's warm. And I like it in here instead. I'm gonna show off my lip. There you go. Okay, so I wanna write down a couple plans for myself. Where's my notebook at? Hold on. I have a notebook that I write all of my plans down in, like things that I like to get done. And when I do that, I feel productive. Found it. I get it. I got it. I got it right here. It's just a red notebook. And all I'm gonna do with it, one second. All I'm gonna do with this notebook is write down a few goals that I have like in like planning, like plan for myself. So now, for example, I wanna be more productive and I want everyone else to, you know, know that. And so a few goals that I have planned for myself is, what's one thing I wanna start doing like every day? And it sounds stupid, but it's like things that would like make me feel better about myself. Things that I would do for myself that's gonna make me love myself more. That sounds stupid, but I feel like in ways when you focus on things like that in your life, you tend to just learn to love yourself more. And that's literally all I'm thriving for. So let's do this. Um, hygiene. I feel like I'm pretty good on my hygiene, to be honest. Like, so like, what's things that I want to do? What's things that I, like, I want to get done? Um, gym. You just write this stuff down. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You just write it down regardless. So I want to go back to the gym. Like a real gym. So gym slash real gym. We know that. 
that's our biggest goal right now. Like that's where we want to do. We want to get back into a real gym, working out four days a week. We'll even put that down. Four days a week. Buy new clothes. Oh yeah. I feel like I haven't gone shopping in so long to the point where I feel like my style has been the exact same and it's about time for a change. I want to be fashionable. I want to look smexy. <laughs> I don't know. I just love clothes. Buy new clothes and shoes. Now you might be like, why are you buying shoes and getting clothes for yourself? How is that going to better you? Mentally, I feel like it would. I feel like I've been wearing the same clothes. I feel like I look, you know, not appealing, you know, sexy. So I, I personally, if I want to go buy new clothes to present myself, there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like that's honestly a good thing. If you want to always buy, well, not always buy clothes, but if you want to buy clothes and show off how you look in them, I think that's a great thing to do. Be proud in what you're wearing. Feel good in what you're wearing. You're supposed to feel good in what you're wearing. It's your clothes. So I got gym and I got <laughs> wearing my retainers because I brush my teeth twice a day. But my teeth, I used to have braces and now I want to start wearing my retainers again. And then what else would I want to do? There's something else and I know it. I, I feel like I don't take proper care of my hair and I, I, I try to. Like I just put conditioner in it so now it's soft but you know, it just tends to be a pain in the butt. So I feel like that's another thing I want to start paying attention about too or whatever. Oh, here's another thing. Eat less fast food. Holy cow, guys. That is my weakness. I love fast food. <sighs> I don't know why, but last night I was just playing games. Ugh, that feels good. We'll put that down for a second. Last night I was playing games, right? And I was just sitting here and I, I felt like looking at myself, you know, because who doesn't? And you guys, for the gamers out there, you guys know what OBS is, right? So I was, it's like a streaming thing for Twitch, basically. Here, let me try to fix myself. Basically, I was looking at myself in here. Hi. And I thought I looked horrible. By the way, let me shut the blinds. The blinds look better. You might be like, why do you keep yourself in a closed, disclosed room? I don't. It's just the lighting's better this way. We should eat something. I think we should go have two pieces of toast and uh, my dad doesn't have eggs, but we have egg whites. And that would be the most a perfect meal to eat. I'm not even kidding. That'd be the greatest meal for me, but I never do that, ever. And that's probably why I'm 163, my guys. I, I need to bulk up again. I used to be 185, holy, I was muff, I was muscly when I was 185. It's a little chunky, but I didn't care. I was 185, I was strong. I was bench 225 and everything. Um. We have work today. We have work at four. But I do want to obviously... I was going to get a haircut, but I feel like my hair is fine right now. So I'm not going to get it cut yet. But a part of me wants to do something. And I have money. <laughs> not go buy stuff. But like... I, I've i wanted shoes for a while. So maybe we might go buy shoes before work. I don't know. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. But if we do, you guys will definitely see me get shoes. And I have an idea what they may be. They're going to be white converse. Okay. See you guys soon. I think I sleep more than a regular human being, I swear. But it's because my schedule is so messed up and I don't go to bed at night. And I like literally feel that it's like necessary for me to sleep during the day. I want to go to bed earlier tonight. But it's just like, is it actually going to happen? I don't know. I want to go to bed earlier. We have work in about an hour and a half. And I'm still not hungry and I don't really feel that I want to eat anything. Nor do I have the money to go buy food, so I kind of can't buy food either. So we're going to be chilling here, really. I want to chill on my phone, text some friends back, text people, blah, blah, blah. Just seem like I have friends. And then we can head to work. And once we're at work... We'll have a good work day. Then we'll drive home, which is cool, because we have our car. Then, um, yeah, hopefully we'll do something after. Honestly, there's a chance I might just go to the freaking gym. I hope I do. I, we'll see.
right, bye-bye. What's up? Oh yeah, we're getting ready for work right now. And I'm wearing like my gym clothes actually. I'm trying to, hold on. Oh gosh, I'm trying to wear my gym clothes to work. So when I get out, let's go right to the gym. It's been so long guys, you have no idea. I might even just take my pre-workout for fun. Not take it now obviously, but like take it with me. I don't even think it's here. I don't know if you can see me, I'm just getting water. I gotta get better at this camera angle thing. This thing takes forever. Now we just gotta finish getting ready for work. Got the full water bottle. And as of right now, we're getting, oh, there's our clothes. We're getting our bag together for work. Heck yeah. Okay, so we're ready for work. We got the gloves on, we got the sweater on, we got the white beater underneath the shorts or the pants, but we have shorts underneath that as well. But uh, it's so cold out, guys. I just don't want to get in my car yet. We'll wait, we'll wait. But as soon as my car's ready, we gotta get to work. We got 20 minutes. Hopefully I can leave in the next five minutes. Probably, I probably can. My car's been on about, for about five minutes. I had to get the snow off the top and everything. Let's see if I have my pre-workout here. I don't think I do. But that means I can stop by my house and get some. That's possible. Yeah, cause I have my protein and creatine here. Okay, I'll see you guys in my car. So, as of right now, it seems like I can't quite leave. But soon I'll be able to see, so I can leave for work. My nose is a little runny, but it's okay. I just wanna leave for work anyway. <laughs> no, I gotta get there as soon as possible. Get in the back, just do what I gotta do. And then, uh, my mouth is dry. I got my aqua for, I'm cool. And then, uh, We'll be all set. We'll be all good for the work day. And then we have a nice, lovely gym session afterwards. And I can't even lie to you guys. I'm kind of having a bad day. I don't know what it is. I had a bad night. I can't lie. It was harsh. So I, I'm just, I'm pushing myself forward anyway. Like I said, never give up. I'm not gonna let you guys down. I'm gonna keep pushing myself forward. That's why I'm going to the gym tonight. Making myself, making sure I go to work, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. I get paid and everything. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Keep vlogging. I'm at work. My buddies are working hard. Right now, I'm sitting behind a machine. Right there, at that thing, that thing, to make it work. It's okay, figure it out. All right, I'm just waiting on my friend Barrett now. Once he leaves work, I can take him home, and then we gotta go home real quick and get ready for the gym. I'm ready, but I'm freezing my butt off. It's literally, I saw a thing online. It is nine degrees right now in Ohio, nine. I'm so cold. I'm so ready to work out. I want to feel pumped. I want to be pumped. All right, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> On this channel, I've never tried to be negative, and I don't want to be, and I don't want to start to be. But I am going through some shit right now that I can't even explain, and I'm not even trying to lay it out on anybody in this world. But I just... I make mistakes a lot, a lot of the times, and I, I tend to just ruin things for myself. And I do it a lot. And I, I disappoint myself a lot for what I do. I can't go to the gym tonight, guys. And I, I, I wanted to work out, but I made a stupid mistake that didn't ha so I didn't have money to even go. So I can't even go. And, and then there's other circumstances happen. I, I can't even focus. I know everybody's situation's different and I know everybody's gonna have it in different ways than I do. And obviously I can't relate in some degree, but 
but I can't always say that it is better off to be by yourself and to focus on yourself. Don't let someone distract you from bettering you. Because even if they are gone and not in your life anymore, you can still realize and sometimes notice that they can still affect you. That's why you need to learn that your inner mind is stronger than anything else. You need to be strong to be okay by yourself mentally. You need to be mentally strong to be okay by yourself. And it just takes time. You just got to push through it. But uh, yeah, there's no gym today. And uh, I don't really know if this is the end of the video or not. I hope it isn't. So let's just go inside and cool off because we are home. And let's have a better night because the day isn't over. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you inside. Hey, everyone. First of all, I don't want to lie and say that I am okay, like I said in the car. Obviously, I'm dealing with some like mental things, I think. And it's, it's just things I can't get over. And they really are eating me up in ways that I really never expected. And I feel like I need to explain it because, you know, I just feel like I need to just get this off my chest. I, I never talk about anything anymore. I'm always secluded. I always keep things to myself. I don't talk to people. I tend to just do my own thing. So, <laughs> that girl, I don't know if any much of you guys know about this, but I made a video a little while ago. I, I'd say it was probably, here we could check real fast. It was my fifth video I made on this channel. It's called Learn From The Past and Move On. I talked about the situation with that girl in that video. And I, I talked about how you need to learn to move on and grow from it. And I promise you in my life, that's all I'm trying to do every single day, learn and grow from what happened during then. It's just, it, it is affecting me. I'm ashamed of what happened, of what I, what I did. And I have so many questions, obviously, about things that I, I will never be able to want. I, I would never say on this channel or in public. Some things are bound to stay private. It. I just, <laughs> I miss her and they know that. And I bother them, guys. I text them and I shouldn't. They've obviously given me the ability to reach out. They said they, I could. But I've bothered them in so many ways that when I do reach out, it almost hurts them. And they actually get scared of my name. It's just what happened between her and I was all my fault. And I blamed her for all of it. So many times, so many times I did. Even when I thought I wasn't, I was. And I, I feel horrible because if I'm honest with you guys, she did seem like one of a kind, that girl. <laughs> or maybe I was just attached, I, I don't know. But it's hard to sometimes think about life when I'm by myself because I, I don't like to be alone, but I am a lot. But I choose to do that myself. But it makes me sad that I choose to do that. You know, it's complicated. I, I feel that I make problems for myself. I cause my problems. And I, I promise to you all that I will grow and get better and learn from every single mistake I've made. That's all I want to do. That's all you guys deserve. I deserve to learn from my mistakes and move on. I can't hold on to the past like I do. And I don't think I hold on to the past, but I just sure as hell miss that girl because she really was one of a kind, you know?
At least to me, she felt like it. I'll still say this, that love does crazy things. And that even if you love someone more than anything, you still sometimes may make the worst decision ever. But you just still have to learn from it and move on. And be proud of yourself regardless of what's happening in your life. You can't have someone else's... You can't be thinking about someone else's life when you have your own to worry about. It's okay to miss that person. It's sure as hell okay to feel, you know, devastated in what's happening. But you need to constantly remember that things will get better and that you will be happier eventually. And honestly, you need to also remember that there was a time where you were okay without them. Now it is harder because you have memories with somebody else. But you still, I promise you, can push past it and be okay. To anyone that's fighting love and is in a tricky situation like this, I want you to know that it's okay to feel shitty. It's okay to sleep all day. I promise you, it is okay to not want to do a goddamn thing. I promise you that life will always get better if you choose to look at life in a positive way. Life is sometimes depressing, horrible, whatever. I don't have a good vocabulary. <laughs> but I promise you that life will get better if you choose to believe that it will. And I sure as hell believe that life will get better for me, regardless of how I feel right now, and regardless of the mistakes I made. I will believe in myself, and you know, I believe that I will get better and I will be okay. I'm sorry for rambling, and I'm sorry for <laughs> nothing. I guess I'm proud of myself still. I'm proud of myself for making these videos and being honest with you guys. I'm trying to be authentic. Sorry, I got scared that it ran out of storage there. We're okay. I just want to get better and move on from what's happened in my past. Cause it's really hard to for me. I don't know why, I really don't. But I believe in myself and I believe that I'll be okay eventually. So believe in yourself, everybody. Believe in you. You are the only person that could truly do anything in your life that matters. All right, I'm gonna stop. But I really don't have much planned for tonight. But I promise you guys soon that I'm gonna have my life figured out and that these videos are gonna be dope because I love making them and I'm proud of myself for making them and I think they're gonna get better and better each and every single time I make these. So I love you all <laughs> for listening and I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired and a little sad, but it's okay. I'm gonna go play games with my friends, make food and go to bed. And obviously edit this video and upload it tonight because I didn't upload one yesterday. I'm sorry guys, I just had to take a break of a day. Just one day break. All right, I love you guys. Have a great one. I'll see you tomorrow.